Hello everyone, we're here at the Horizon Inn in Lincoln, Nebraska, right by the Lincoln Airport, and this is going to be a full hotel room tour of a standard room with one queen-size bed. We're right outside room 102. And I just left the door propped open because the lock doesn't work all the way. You'll see that the door handle here kind of hangs down, and, it, and the key will only read if, if you pull the handle all the way up. So if you leave it like that, the key won't read. But yeah, they use the old uh, magnetic key locks. In fact, the same door locks that they're using at the Simple Rewards Inn in Gaiman, Oklahoma. So turning around, the first thing you'll see on the back of the door. And here's a look at the door. It does not have that latch that they usually have to keep the door from opening. They only have the deadbolt. And that's it. They don't have that usual latch that you can keep the door from physically being opened. Even if somebody has a key, if it opens, it'll usually stop on the latch. So anyways... We have the little placard there, and then there's a little map of the property. There are not that many rooms, about 20 rooms here. There was a little discrepancy between the checkout time. This thing said noon, and then sometimes they tell you 11, so I'm not too sure. But over here we have the closet area. In the closet you get six coat hangers, a theft resistant kind, and you also get an iron and ironing board, and there's an extra pillow usually up top, but I needed to use that. And on the left is the vanity, it's a very dimly lit area and the vanity is pretty low to the ground. You can see there's only that one fluorescent light there. There I am, and then there's the hair dryer. You get two outlets and then the sink here. And the sink's quite loud because the water pressure is pretty high. And on the left you have a soap dispenser with pink soap and a tissue box. There's a look into the main part of the room and now let's go into the bathroom. Here's the bathroom, it's very small and dimly lit. Over above the toilet you have a very basic wire towel rack, like you see in many budget hotels. And then on the opposite wall you have two hooks instead of them being on the back of the door, and then there's another set of refillable soap dispensers. And then an interesting find over here, this is an independent property, but they have Hampton Inn branded shower curtains here. And then here's a look at the shower fixtures. You can see right here they're very old, original to the property. And this knob actually has a very odd behavior. It turns 360 degrees, so it seems to be kind of broken. But anyways, here's a test of the shower. So the shower works okay, and then over here on the left is the toilet. Again, as you can see, very cramped quarters here. Now going over to the main part of the room, here's the single queen bed. It takes up most of the room. And over on the other side, you get a little bench to put your luggage on in lieu of a luggage stand. There's a mirror, and then over here you get a large mini fridge. It's a Whirlpool brand mini fridge, about twice the size you usually see in hotel rooms. There's a look inside. The freezer compartment needs defrosting, and it doesn't have a door. Up top you get a smaller Magic Chef microwave, about 700 watt output. And then an ice bucket on top of it. And then there's the TV mounted up on the wall, so it saves space. You just get the standard DirecTV HD service here. There's a look at the channel guide, and you get one of the older DirecTV remotes. There's also a second channel guide there that has a checkout time of 11 a.m. Continuing to the left is the desk area, and then you have an office chair here where my backpack's sitting. Unfortunately, the chair doesn't raise any higher because the gas cylinder is broken. Even when I try to pull the lever, it doesn't do anything. Here's a closer look at the desk area. You have a lamp with a power outlet on it, an alarm clock, and a guidebook. Then over here towards the window, you have the window AC unit. It's a Primair brand. And there's a look out the window, we're facing towards the southwest, there's the Army National Guard behind us, and there's a rail spur. And to the left there's a maintenance shed. This railroad track doesn't get that busy, so you don't have to worry about too much noise. Overall, this side of the hotel is pretty quiet. And to the left of the window you have a small table, a chair, a floor lamp, and over here is the nightstand. And the power outlet on the nightstand makes a very high-pitched buzzing noise. This is what it sounds like. Yes, yeah, so it could be annoying if you have sensitive hearing. And to the right of the lamp is a basic hotel phone, and in the drawers a phone book. There's a table lamp, it's a little bit loose, and then coming over to the other corner of the room, there's an overview. Besides a minor discrepancy in the checkout time, this hotel was not too bad, especially considering I only paid $70 a night. So that's going to be it for this full hotel room tour at the Horizon Inn in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out other travel videos on my channel and get subscribed so you don't miss out on any new videos.